Okay, now that we've created an RGB image and we also have a um, all our nebulas here, um, or what should I say, our narrow band images over here, we're ready to kind of get these out of the linear state and move into the nonlinear state. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these images off of their little previews from the screen transfer function. And what we're going to do is actually develop them, I guess you could say, right? We're going to develop them so they no longer need the screen transfer function. This is the transformation that makes them go from linear to non-linear. Okay, so let's start here. Histogram transformation, fun, fun, fun. So what you want to do is make sure your image is in this, in this linear state and it's not in a preview mode. Really what you're gonna see most of the time is just mostly a black image. You're not gonna see anything else. What I'm gonna do is hit my preview right here. And when I hit my preview, I'm gonna see the same thing, right? But I'm gonna to start to be able to see, you know, the image developing as I go along. First thing I'm gonna do is check my uh, checkbox right here to track the view, because that's gonna be able to see the histogram. Let's just, let's just move this over a little bit. And you're gonna see the preview change as I'm moving this over, Ooh, don't want to move this one. This is the highlights one. You just want to move the mid one and you're going to move the uh, the shadows one over here as well. You could see a little bit of it is here. I'm going to apply and you're going to do this a few times. So I'm going to reset. You got to hit your reset button here and we're going to move it over again. There you go, your apply button. And then you're going to see this. This is why they call it stretching, right? Because you could see this histogram stretching. It's stretching out, right? It's moving. It started off being this little thing that was all together. And we're going to stretch it like a little bit more. So let's move this, the dark slider, or I guess the shadows, over a little bit more. And then we're going to move the midpoint, our mids, a little bit over here. You can see, here we go. All right. I'm going to hit reset again. You can see it's stretching, it's stretching. Gonna move this over and then we are going to move this over just a little bit we're going to just keep doing this until we get an optimal image Ooh, you see that when it falls down i don't like that so we don't want to do that i just reset and we could see this you see how it just fell right there no we don't want that so there we go we're going to move it over just a little bit and hit apply and reset Okay, I think that's as far as we're gonna take this. So there we go, folks. A stretched image for the hot. You wanna do one more? I wanna do one more. I think I wanna do one more. So let's do the O3 image. We're gonna open it up. Let's click a preview. We have this already checked off, so that's good. And let's move this over. We're gonna do this one real quick. Let's hit apply. Let's hit reset. Let's hit, move this over all the way over again. Let's hit apply. Let's hit reset. And you can see, look how thin it is right here. Look how thin that is. Look how thin it is. We're going to get it even, we're going to stretch it out just a little bit more. I'm going to move this over. I never move this all the way over to the right. I just leave it kind of like maybe halfway there. I, I just don't like doing it. This one, however, you can move all the way over. But again, just use your best judgment. What does this image look like? You don't want it to look like this. You don't want it to look like that. No. So it doesn't look good, right? So... Let's just use your best judgment and make it look good. Click apply, reset, move it about halfway over and move this one almost all the way over until it feels weird, right? So I'd say about right there. Okay, let's move this over and let's move this over just a little, not too much, not too much. Okay, we are really stretching this motherfucker. Oh my God, here we go. God, did I just curse? It's getting late here. Okay. Whoa, look at that. Okay. All right, we are just about done, but isn't it so fun to watch this stretch out? All right, I think that's going to do it. I don't think I could do any more with this. I really don't. If I do any more, I'm going to just be putting in a whole bunch of noise that I just don't want. 
So this looks pretty good. I think it actually, I hope it looks better than the screen transfer function, but they both look pretty good. And the, you know, with these oxygen signal, you really got this whole signal down here, which is was amazing. You didn't see that before. That's it. That's histogram transformation. I'm not going to stretch the rest of my images. Maybe you want me to, but I'm not going to do that. So I think you get the point and how you do it. So hopefully this was informative, you know, because I think this is the most important step of the entire fix inside process. If you don't have a good stretched image, you're probably not going to have a good result. So make sure you stretch it well. You don't want to go too far. You don't want to go too little. You just want to go just right. That's the whole point of stretching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.